Ok friends, so in the previous video we worked with new user to create a new user and we need to add here a button to go back, a link to go to the user's index and also work with edit and delete the user. So let's start with adding a button here, a link to go to the user's index and for that I'm going to open the role index or sorry, the role create inside the roles so the create page inside the roles and yeah copy this line here and now open the create inside the users and paste that uh, let's create another div here because we have div max with md so we don't need to add there and we add a div with a class to be max with 7xl mx auto and let's say margin top of uh, 4 and inside I'm going to paste that in and just change the route to be users index good come here and now we have the back button okay now let's add edit and delete links here and also for that I'm going to open the role index and copy this data set here and now open the user index and paste that inside here when we have the table data set replace with this one change the route to be users then also we need to add here the user not the road we have the user here good let's save and let's close yeah we have the button now let's work with the controller let's open the user controller we are in the store method okay and let's remove the show then here i'm going to use the route model binding so let's bind the user model our sign user and add the response initial response return type and let's return inertia render and we need to render the component we don't have for now but we are going to create inside the admin slash users slash edit okay and we need to add a probe so let's say user new user resource and pass in here dollar sign user okay then with update the same thing I'm going to bind here the user model dollar sign user and let the return type is going to be redirect response also let's come here and copy this and come here down there paste that in uh, we are not going to work with password so let's remove that we're going to use only the name and the email and let's say here required and unique is going to be I'm going to say rule illuminate validation unique to the table users and I'm going to add a column which is email and I'm going to say ignore the user we have here okay then on here we need to say not user create but dollar sign user update and it's going to update the name and the email not the password good then let's return to the route uh, users index so let's say users index 
Good. Now let's work with uh, destroy as well, and let's bind here the user model. Dollar sign user. The return type is going to be redirect response. First, let's delete the user, and then let's return to the route users index and save this one and I think we are okay now let's go and see oh yeah we need to create the edit page we don't have that so for that what I'm going to do I'm going to open the create page inside the users and I'm going to save this as edit okay now here we are in the edit and the first thing I'm going to define a probe and I'm going to create a constant for that to say probes which is going to be equal with define probes and I'm going to say here a user which is going to be type object and it's going to be required to be true okay then on the form we need only the name and the email and also now the name is going to be props dot user dot name and the same for the email so let's copy this and paste it here change the name to be email like this for submit we don't need now this, we need only to submit the form and not post but put because we haven't update. Here is going to be users update and we need to pass also the ID. So I'm going to say props dot user dot ID and then on the form leave only the name and the email, remove the password and password confirmation and say update user and I think we're okay save this and let's go and try so refresh and let's uh, update this one here click and I'm going to say updated Click update the user. Ah, okay. Uh, my mistake. So let's open the user controller and I leave it this one, which we don't need that. Let's save and let's go back. A refresh and let's edit now. Say update. Update the user and we have here update now let's update the email and I'm going to say updated email click update and we have updated email let's delete now this one okay let's delete this and the refresh everything works good so that's it about this video friends and now we have CRUD for permissions, roles and user and we need to work with assigning roles and permissions. So see you in the next video, all the best.